Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is on how to solve the second layer of a 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. To solve the second layer, you position all the edge pieces that do not have yellow on them. So, all of these edge pieces are properly positioned after solving the first layer, of course. And that means the second layer is solved. So I'll show you one algorithm, and you use that algorithm to solve all of the edge pieces. So the first step is to find an edge piece on the top band that does not have yellow on it. So for example, all of them have yellow. So for example, this one is yellow orange, yellow red, yellow blue. The only one that doesn't have yellow is this one. This is green and red. So you're going to line it up with the center color. And now, so the red... You look at the red, okay? It should be on either the left or right side of the green. If it's on the left side, you turn this away to the right. If it's on the right side, you turn it away to the left. So right now, this center is on the left side, the red center. So you turn it away. And now, so the red side, you're going to move it up, like upward, like, as in that way. So now, what you're going to do is, this is on the left side, and you're going to take this out, okay? And then just move it back down. So, so first move this away. And then move this side, the side that has this top color, up. And then, see this thing? You want to knock off the top piece to this to, to the other side. And then put it back down. So then, um, and then that will like, you'll see that one of the pieces from the white side is gone. You just want to put that one back in. So there. And now, as you can see, the green and red edge piece is solved. So I'll show you two more examples so you can get the hang of it. So first you find a piece that does not have yellow on it. For example, this one, orange, green. You're going to align it up with the center. And look, green. Where is green? It's on the left side. So you're going to turn it to the right. You're going to turn this left side up. And then knock this piece out. And then turn the left side back down. Then you're just going to put this piece back in. Okay, so now you're going to repeat that again. So this one is blue and orange. You're going to turn this away from the left side since orange is on the left side. And then turn the left side up. And then bring this off to the side. And then bring it back down. And then put this piece in the yellow piece. And then, now the last one is blue and red. You do the same thing. So, blue is over here, move it, bring it up, bring it in, bring it down, and then just put this piece back in. So far, all of the cases that I got were where the top color was on the left side. This is one where the top color is on the right side. So, here, this is the green-orange piece. Orange is on the right, so you're just going to turn it to the left instead of the right, because you turn it away, and you're just going to bring the right side up. And then this piece, we turn it to the side so that it disappears. And then we turn it back down so this to line up the cross again. And then we just put this piece, the missing piece, back in. And see, that's all of the green and orange. Sometimes you'll get a case where there are no pieces without yellow of them on top. So in this case, you're going to find a piece in the middle layer that's not solved. So for example, this one. And now you're just going to pretend that this is green and this is orange. So you can put that piece right here. So just pretend any of these top pieces is green and orange. Because that's the centers that are surrounding this piece. So just pretend that this is green and orange. So if this was orange, then I would have to turn it away from this side. Then after bringing this side up, I would have to put this thing back and bring it down. And then I would just put this piece back in. And after doing that, you'll see that there should be a piece that doesn't have yellow on top. So, as you can see that we found that, it's blue and orange. And now you just proceed regularly. And you should be able to solve the cube unless one of those happens again. So, anytime there's pieces, no pieces without yellow, then you just repeat that, pretending that they're the um, imaginary colors and any of the middle bands that are not solved. 
Now I'm just going to go through a full walkthrough solve of the second layer. So after solving the first layer, we look for a piece on the top band that doesn't have yellow on it. So this is one. It's red and green. So locate red and green centers and align it. So green is on the right side, so we turn it to the left. And now we bring the right side up, and this, not, this piece we move it to the side and bring it back down. Then we just put this piece back in. Now let's look for a piece. Here's one, green and orange. So we align it, and then we turn it to the side, bring this side up, move it out, and then bring it down, and then just put this piece back in. Now we find a piece, but there are none. All of these pieces have yellow on them. So we're going to find an unsolved edge piece in the middle layer. For example, this one. This one is unsolved because blue doesn't line with blue and orange doesn't line with orange. So we're going to pretend that this is orange and blue. And so orange lines with orange. If this is blue, then we're going to turn it away from the blue side. And then bring this up, bring this out, and then bring this back down. And then put this in. Now we should have one that's not yellow. And here it is. It's red and blue. So we're going to line it with the red. And since blue is on the left, we'll turn it to the right. Now bring this up, bring this out, and bring this back down. Then we're just going to put this piece back in. And now, last one. This is orange and blue. So now blue is on the right side, and this is already aligned. So we turn it to the left, bring this up, bring this out, and then bring this back down. And then we just put this piece back in. So that's the whole second layer solved. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to solve the second layer. Please continue on to the third part, which is the orientation of the last layer.